<laughs> so you connect with the guys in Ra. Mm -hmm. Where does it go from there? Um, well, it's, it's, it was really just kind of Sahaj and I in the beginning because as soon as I joined the band, the drummer actually ended up going on tour with another artist. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep. <laughs> and um, so it was him and I, and we, we, we uh, got a bass player and a drummer, um, went through a few different bass players and drummers, and um, were playing shows for bartenders. <laughs> and, um, and then I gave the, uh, we had a demo that I, I gave to the singer from the band I was in previously, Absence of Faith, who was really good friends with, um, with some of the DJs on WAAF out of Boston. And um, so he gave um, a DJ, Mistress Carrie, our, uh, our demo album, which was pretty high quality. And um, she loved it, and AAF decided to test one of the tracks, and it went really well. Okay. And then people started requesting it, and it went into regular rotation, wow. and it from there got picked up with by other radio stations across the country and it kind of just took off like wildfire and you know we went from playing to bartenders to playing to sold out shows with lines wrapped around the club in a you know a matter of just a couple months incredible amazing i've talked with other artists about this and this must be a trip the first time you heard your song your music on the radio <laughs> oh, yeah. what was that like it's it's amazing <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. yeah it's, like, you know i did that right yeah yeah I, I think the first time i heard it i was i was in the car and i just pulled over yeah and just enjoyed it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you knew you were listening to it with thousands, maybe millions of other people, right? Yeah, and I'm actually, you know, we were on the tail end of, I actually got to see myself on MTV too. MTV too, okay. actually. Interesting. And yeah, it was, I was in a bar in, uh, in New Jersey and it came, they had MTV too on and, wow. and there we were. What was the song? Do You Call My Name, that was our first single. Wow. That was Very a song cool. that, Very cool. that all that stuff happened with. So you, you start getting this massive airplay and the way it used to happen in the music business, I'm not so, so sure it happens this way anymore, is you get signed to a record contract, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So Universal came in? Yeah, Universal Records came in and uh, signed us. So, we, so through that, we, we actually released an EP on our own and we sold 10,000 copies in, in just a handful of weeks. So Universal came in and, and signed us right away. And yeah, so, you know, that was like the tail end where records were still selling, but Napster was like the big thing. And, you know, we actually literally signed a million dollar record deal, which they do not give you a million dollars. <laughs> and um, can you can you help uh, shed some light on uh, whatever you want to share about that? Because uh, I talk a lot about on my show of the business of music and a lot of it's changing. But mm -hmm. what was that? How that, was, that process? Well, that was our deal was like an old school deal. Um, what would have been a good deal um, when records still sold, and um, the deal we signed, we basically to round it out to be approximately right. We we basically made about a dollar per album. Um, that was that was the deal. But the way it all works is you get in advance that you have to record on, you have to promote on, do all the marketing, you have to use this tour support, and um, and all that stuff. And then you have to pay that back, but all that, say you're selling the albums for $15, which is probably right around the ballpark, even a little under what, what they were selling for then. So the, the money you're paying back, only $1 of that out of each 15 comes back. So, you know, if you, if you get a, a million dollar budget, which is what a million dollar record deal is, and then, you know, they, they spend all that, then you have to sell a million albums before you even make a penny on an album sale. Right. Yeah. And how did that album do? Um, we sold um, 350-ish thousand. Um, I don't even remember anymore. Yeah. But somewhere on that, we didn't we didn't sell a million because yeah. I don't think anybody sold a million anymore. That was like but still really respectable. 350 thousand. That's oh, a lot of albums. Yeah, we we did we did really well. You know that was and that was um, that was a good selling album at the time because the, the industry was seriously tanking. We were just on the cusp of that, or even just, you know, on right on the, the precipice of the downfall. <laughs>